What is up, Flavor Family? It's Bobby, and we're coming at you at Costco for the second healthy grocery haul, which happens to coincide with spring. Because whether you're spring cleaning your house or spring cleaning your diet, I want to hook you up by going all around Costco and picking out about 10 healthy items that you might want to pick up. And of course, we always do a few you want to stay away from. And there's a few new items here I've been noticing lately, so I can't wait to share it with you. Let's rock this haul, baby. You guys, I'm loving this aisle here at Costco because it has my new obsession, this ginormous can of San Marzano tomatoes. This is probably my new favorite thing at Costco because you get 106 ounces for $3.69. Almost every other grocery store is $3.99 for 28 ounces. Once again, Art, look at this. It's $3.69 for a 106 ounce can. And why is that such a big deal, you're asking? Well. My obsession with San Marzano's is true because they're grown in the San Marzano region of Italy, just outside of Naples. What's so great about that region? Well, we talk about that in the past videos. Mount Vesuvius, about 2,000 years ago, blew up. Volcanic ash everywhere. People died, horrible, little Timmy, no Timmy, right? Really bad, but there was a positive. It enriched the soil with volcanic ash, making it really, really great to grow produce, specifically the San Marzano tomato. And because it comes from there, it's normally more expensive, but I always paid it. But now I get this can and it makes the best sauces, marineras. Um, there's a little bit of like conspiracy about like, are they actually San Marzano? Do you need a certain seal on there? And actually the mafia is kind of taking over the produce industry in Southern Italy and they're growing produce on trash heaps and garbage landfills. And so bad uh, chemicals and toxins are going into the plants, but I'm pretty sure they haven't gotten to my beloved uh, San Marzano tomatoes. So uh, let's hope it doesn't happen, but those are the best scoop here. And then Art, right behind you. Another thing that I think is relatively new here raw organic apple cider vinegar this monster three pack 332 ounce bottles for the rock bottom price of 6.99 you guys the previous best price i'd ever seen was a 16 ounce container at trader joe's this amount of acv at trader joe's would be 15 dollars so this price is crazy and you might not want to commit to three bottles but it will last you until 2022 and why do you want raw organic? Because, Art, you're always looking for that probiotic mother there. Mama! Ooh. <laughs> why is that? <laughs> Art's going to do the whole thing now. Why is that important? That's the probiotic bacteria that has really good bacteria for your gut, your gut flora. So you always want to buy that stuff. You can use it in marinades, as salad dressings, or just put a teaspoon of that in your water in the morning. It's really good for your stomach. So this is very, very exciting. And then all the way down yonder, let's go down here, Art. I really want to. I want to love this avocado mayonnaise from Urimsa <laughs> Kensington from Essex, England. But there's a problem, Art. I look at the ingredients and it has sugar. And that means it's not keto or paleo. <laughs> Thank you for the zoom in there, too, for the dramatic effect. Um, it also has this whipped texture that I don't like, kind of like Miracle Whip here. I much prefer thick, creamy mayonnaise. Um, I have a recipe for homemade mayonnaise that dropped two weeks ago, and I use a pasture-raised egg yolk, which no mayonnaise anywhere uses. It is a little more expensive. I mean, this one here is 25 cents an ounce. My homemade mayo is 34 cents an ounce, but it's very high quality. But you want to stay away from it at all costs. Like the Hellman style mayonnaise, we talked about this previously, it's always made with highly refined oils like soy, canola, or veggie. These are highly processed, highly refined oils that are toxic for your body. I do believe a few Costco's around the country carry Primal Kitchen or Chosen Foods avocado oil mayonnaise, which is far, far better than these. Um, they still don't use a pasture-raised egg yolk, but I would scoop those. I think there's two Costco's in Texas that carry them. How do I know that? Because you guys send me pictures of the best Costco's around the country, so keep that up. But that's the 411 with the mayo here. Oh, here we go. All right, check this out. Hands down, my favorite marinara sauce ever is Rayo's, or as Art calls it, Rouse. Um, not only is it really good ingredients, all right, check it out, just a few, very nice ingredients, but the flavor on this is amazing. But more importantly, this price is the best I've ever seen. 40 ounces for $8. At a normal grocery store, it's $6.99 for 24 ounces. So this is a much better deal. And if I'm not going to make my homemade marinara sauce, this is the one I go to. And then let's go all the way down the end of the aisle. There's something interesting down here. Bone broth. 
bone broth is getting really, really uh, popular these days. And a lot of people are jumping on the bandwagon, which means we got to read the ingredients. So this is bone broth powder, which I actually use at home. So this is meant to be on the go or used for smoothies. But I don't like this brand because number one, it doesn't say grass fed on the label. But look at the ingredients here. It should be just a couple like beef collagen and maybe chicory root, yeast extract and natural flavors. Yeast extract is another word for MSG. It's a chemical flavor enhancer and I don't approve of that. So this is a no-no, but later on when we go to the supplements aisle, there is a bone broth collagen powder that's really good over there. But stay away from that one. A few of you guys have been asking about this stuff, better than bouillon. And I heard it tastes pretty good, but I'm not thrilled with the ingredients once again because there's maltodextrin, cane sugar, and yeast extract. So the yeast extract is that MSG kind of imposter, and maltodextrin is a food preservative that helps make it shelf stable and creamy, but it's also not very good for your gut bacteria. That being said, I think it is better than art bouillon because this stuff is just toxic. This is the powdered version here, the uh, caldo de pollo. And that has like a million ingredients here. So it is better, technically speaking, but I'm not a huge fan of that. And then, that was in Spanish. Yes, so double because of the Spanish, yeah. And then this wasn't part of the video, but I was just reading the ingredients here on my taco seasoning mix. The number one ingredient is cornmeal. What is going on? Cornmeal and sugar. That means the, the prevalent ingredient is cornmeal here. That's why you have to read the ingredients. You're paying for filler, all filler, no thriller. Use my homemade taco seasoning mix. We use that for the Mexican tater tot casserole. Art, right, how good was that? Good. I'll put that link down below. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and let's continue down here. Also, we talked about this in the Costco oils video. If you haven't seen that video, check it at the end of this. We go over all the cooking oils, what to use and what to avoid. But just as a refresher, these are the only kind of oil sprays you wanna use because it's a good quality oil, avocado, and there's non-propellant. What do I mean? This is the traditional oil spray. Number one, it uses garbage canola oil, which is highly processed and highly bad for you, but it uses an aerosol chemical to propel the oil out of here. That's really, really bad stuff. I would only buy non-propellant avocado oil or olive oil. And this brand is really good and the price is unbeatable. One thing about the almond flour has changed since our haul video five months ago. The price went up $1. Check this out really quick, Art. It used to be $11.99, but it's still by far the best price I've ever seen. The second best price is over at Walmart. Um, and we just dropped a recipe last week on the blog for my wife, uh, Desi, her chocolate date brownies with almond flour and millet flour. And the sweetener is just dates, absolutely gangbusters. And another recipe in the upcoming keto book that I already share in the blog is my Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits using these that are keto, grain-free, they're unbelievable. I'll put that recipe down below. Let's scoop this here because the price is unbelievable, but I caught it, I caught the dollar price increase. You can't get anything by me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, let's quickly talk about the health benefits of buying raw honey versus pasteurized honey. Now, most of the honey you see in the US is pasteurized because two reasons. Number one, it looks pretty and clear in the bottle and the manufacturers like to heat it up because it becomes more liquid and they can easily pour it. But when you pasteurize honey, you kill many of the enzymes, vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. So if you can afford it, I would much rather buy raw local honey. You can see it's thicker and it doesn't poon doesn't uh, pour as much, but this is from New York. It's 100% USA, and it just is healthier honey. Now, there is a documentary I talked about previously on Netflix called Rotten, and they talk about the fact that uh, China is exporting a lot of honey to the US, and they're cutting it with rice bran syrup, and it's very hard to detect that, which is why when you buy honey, know where it comes from. This is from the US. This one is good too, it's from the US and Argentina, but you really have to read the label and see where it comes from and you're just better off getting the raw local honey because it's so much better for you. Okay, before we leave the aisle, I almost forgot the Everything Bagel seasoning. I used to buy this at Trader Joe's, but this is a way better price and I love it because it's all natural ingredients and it's crunchy and oniony and garlicky. You guys tell me you put this on salads, on avocado, avocado toast, Desi, my wife, puts this on her keto fat bread recipe, which is not eggy and absolutely delicious. You can use it for sandwiches. She also puts this stuff on her everything bagels, 100% keto, grain-free, paleo, and it's delicious. I'll put those recipes down below. And from now on, I'm buying my everything bagel seasoning here at Costco.
If you guys are going to buy a gluten-free all-purpose flour mix, this is the one you want to get. Namaste, all-purpose flour mix, because number one, it's tasty. Number two, look at that price art. $8.99 for a five-pound bag. And whenever you buy gluten-free flour mixes, read the ingredients. You never want to see bean flours, like garbanzo bean flour. It kind of smells like a fart a little bit. And normally, for these kind of products, they totally overcharge you because they know you might have disposable income and they're catering towards your gluten-free lifestyle. But this price is the best I've ever seen and it tastes good and you can make anything gluten-free with that stuff. Let's come back to this aisle here really quickly, Art, because I missed the salt. There's so much good stuff in here, I skipped over this goodbye. Himalayan pink salt, 26 ounces for $5. That is a ridiculous price, you guys. At Trader Joe's, which I think is a good price too, it's uh, $2 for four and a half ounces. This beats the pants off of here. And why is this good? Because if you watch the salt video from the other week at Whole Foods, it's a raw, unprocessed salt that still has all those yummy minerals in there that lends that beautiful color. I talk about it in the other video. Any white salt, like iodized salt or kosher salt, is bleached, processed, refined, full of anti-caking agents and not even good for you. Always buy pink salt, sea salt, gray salt because they have the minerals in there. They're unrefined and they taste better and they're way better for you. And that is my new go-to here for pink salt now. I don't think they have it today, but they normally have RX bars here and the price is amazing. I saw it like two days ago. It's like 128 a bar, which is the best price I've ever seen. But I came across this snack right here, Paleo Caveman bars. And I think you should stay away from these because they're not even paleo. Look at this. They have sugar. Sugar in the chocolate coating. That is not paleo. They also have organic tapioca syrup, which is borderline questionable to be considered pa uh, paleo. I think, Art, we need Phil Hartman, the unfrozen caveman lawyer, for some kind of uh, action there because that ain't paleo. I'd stay away from that. But I'm just an unfrozen caveman lawyer. I don't understand your modern mega marts and Costco's. I need to go away. <laughs> I'm just a caveman. Oh my gosh. All right, look at this. Come here. I think Aina, the barefoot contessa, is winning the, book, the cookbook game here. She's taken over Costco. My gosh, I think Jeffrey is really going to like that in the Hamptons. But let's give Aina a run for her money because I said a little earlier, we got a keto meal prep book coming out on May 15th. I'll put the Amazon link down below. You guys have already made it a number one new release on Amazon, but I'm telling you, there's over 125 low carb keto recipes in this cookbook that are gangbusters good. If you're looking for healthy food that tastes good, we are gonna hook you up. So we would love your support to make this a number one new bestseller and let's get it in Costco and spread the low carb keto love. This stuff, you guys, is the bomb. It's naturally fermented sauerkraut with organic cabbage. And the beauty of that means they don't use any sugar or vinegar. So it's a natural fermentation. And what happens is you get probiotic bacteria in there that not only taste good, but it's really good for your body and for your gut. When you buy pickles or sauerkraut that's in the store shelves in the middle aisle, it's not fermented. It's pickled with sugar and vinegar and you get none of the health benefits. And this is so good. It's only $7.99 for a 50 ounce container. I used to buy it from Whole Foods and it was like half this size for $6. I felt terrible paying that kind of money for cabbage, but now they have it here and this is so good and good for you. Look what I just spied Art, out of the corner of my eye. Peeled garlic from thou who should not be named. <laughs> we talked about this briefly in the Walmart uh, video. Never buy peeled garlic because the flavor is inferior. But if you watch a documentary on Netflix called The Rotten, this company has been known to import peeled garlic from Chinese prisoners. I'm not certifying that because they're very, very litigious. I would just say look into that and more importantly, buy your own garlic and peel them yourself because they taste better. Okay, let's drop it in the cooler for a section because springtime means asparagus. Whenever you buy asparagus, always look for thick asparagus because they don't overcook as easily as the thinner ones. And this price is dynamite. I mean. Normally asparagus is pricey, and we just did a video, Art and I, about two weeks ago for how to make, prep, and cook the perfect asparagus and toss it in my creamy insane sauce, which is a mayonnaise-based sauce. I'll put that link down below. It's the best way to make asparagus, and that's really how you kind of celebrate the springtime. I always buy organic spinach here because you get one pound for $5, and I always buy organic. This is such a better price than Aldi, Walmart, anyone else. 
But surprisingly, this is the same price as one pound of organic spinach at Whole Foods, which you wouldn't think that, but when we talked about it in the Whole Foods haul, the 365 brand has really good deals. So I would either buy organic spinach here or Whole Foods, uh, not anywhere else because the price is right. Now let's get out of here before we freeze. Actually, before we leave Art, one more thing. I don't buy zucchini noodles or zoodles, and I know Art, you don't buy them either, right? But if you do buy them, buy the ones that are fresh in the produce section, because once you buy these that are frozen, the texture turns very mushy because when you freeze vegetables, ice crystals form in the cell wall. Those ice crystals are jagged. They break the cell walls, so when you thaw them, they get really soft and mushy and they're gross. Buy fresh or do it yourself. I'd rather do it yourself, but when you buy it fresh, the texture is way better. This is a really cool find that I've never seen before. It's a la carte spaghetti squash because the hardest part about cooking spaghetti squash is cutting it because it's hard as can be and then roasting it for about an hour and a half. This is in pre-portioned sections, which is really cool. It's organic, it's low carb, but just keep in mind, Art, if you look at the ingredients here, it does have dairy. It has butter on there and so, yeah, it does have a little bit of butter on there, which I would prefer it not to have, but if you want a quick, easy way to eat low carb spaghetti squash, that is a cool product. So I said in the previous Costco haul video that they didn't have grass-fed ground beef, and you told me they did. And I've been looking everywhere, and I don't see it. The only one I see here is organic ground beef, but that doesn't mean it's grass-fed. It's just an organic feed of corn and soy. And I asked one of the employees, they said they don't have it. So maybe you guys have it around you. If they do, make sure it's 100% grass-fed and grass-finished because they do have bison here, and the price is the same as Walmart and everything. But look, on the label, do you see anywhere where it says grass-fed or grass-finished? So I actually went on the company's website a few minutes ago and it's grain-finished, which is very misleading because almost all bison everywhere is 100% grass-fed. And why they do that is they get it to the market quicker and they fatten it up. The problem is when you feed grain to the animal the last six months of their life, you reverse almost all of the health benefits of the grass in the first place. So this unfortunately is a pass and I wish they would put that on the label. Right, we talked about the bone broth powder earlier you want to stay away from. This is what you want to buy. This is grass-fed collagen beef peptides. It's very similar to bone broth powder, but it's actually better because it's pure collagen. So this comes from the bovine skin. You think that's where all the collagen is from. The bone broth comes from bones, usually the femur bone. Um, this is really good for you because it's really good for your gut your bacteria, your hair, skin, your nails. And as you get older, the collagen in your body starts to go away. This is a great supplement to help build that back. It's 100% grass-fed, and there's only one ingredient in this. Grass-fed, pasture-raised, bovine hide collagen peptides, as opposed to the other one we saw. You can put this in your shake and your smoothie. I do that one to two times a day. You can even stir it into hot water, but this is a great supplement super high quality and i would scoop this because it's 40 dollars for 2.2 pounds this can get really expensive so that is a great deal uh, sticking in the grass-fed theme they have the best deal on grass-fed australian rack of lamb here the price is amazing and the chops are so darn big and considering that uh easter's coming up the grass-fed lamb loin chops are phenomenal and more traditional for Easter Sunday is leg of lamb. This stuff is 100% grass-fed and it tastes delicious. So I would definitely scoop that. There was a time back in the day, you guys, that I loved the Sabra hummus and I talked about it in the Target video. This was my favorite one, the roasted pine nut. The texture is so darn creamy, but look at the ingredients. This is why it's so important to read. They use soybean oil in this. All hummus recipes should have olive oil or extra virgin olive oil, not cheap, processed, really bad for you, soybean or canola oil. So this is a major no-no. And I know a ton of people buy it here and the price is right, but I would stay away from that for sure. All right, you guys, that is it. Art and I just rocked this haul like a boss and we did not get kicked out. Although I gotta say, this is the easiest place to do it, man. Other grocery stores, they're swarming like nobody's business. Uh, let us know where you wanna go next. Uh, share this video. Sharing is caring. Art and I work really hard on these haul videos. Uh, we will see you very soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking, mad love and peace.